Hi YouTube, hey you guys. I am about to get up. Today is a gloomy day as you can see. Gloomy, gloomy, gloomy. Yeah, let's get started with good day. Alright, so <clears throat> I have to clean up today, but I really want to get my yoga and everything going. So, yeah, but first things first, I need to head downstairs and make this outside into a bit. I cannot talk. Why don't you just sit here and make this outside of vinegar? You guys, why? I feel. <sighs> But I'm making this apple cider vinegar. It's warm lime water with apple cider vinegar. Honestly, I've been drinking it every morning and I feel amazing. So yeah, but let's go ahead and go downstairs. My cat's all right here. It's the pink, but I'm gonna put this hoodie back on cause it's kind of chilly and whatnot. So yeah. I plan on cooking this tonight. <laughs> Y'all, I had to turn off the camera because the cat started knocking everything over, but it's okay. But we're about to go downstairs and eat. I want to show you guys Luna. This is Luna. Say hi, Luna. But that's Luna. And if you guys haven't watched my previous videos, this one is Fat Boy. Say hi, Fat Boy. <laughs> all right let's go let's head downstairs all right all right you guys so i am in the kitchen and i am hungry like i want some food so we have about two food in the pantry the cereal not put back so i think what we're gonna eat, you guys, I'm not gonna hold. Hey, hey, no, we're not having that. I'm not gonna hold you guys. I am really in the mood to eat an omelet, and I think that's what I'm about to make. Because at first, I was gonna make me these small bagels and make something small, but baby, I am hungry and I want some food. Yeah, I think that's what I'm about to do. I think I want to make me some food. And yeah, and then tonight I'm gonna be making me some dinner, some cute dinner, cause I think I'm gonna clean up the house and get some things situated and I wanna go from there, so. I am going to use, I'm probably gonna cut up a few bell peppers as I'm thinking about it, because I am cooking some dinner tonight. We're gonna get some scallions. I'm probably, yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna do. I should make a room. I'm gonna say this for later.
a little bit of meat and I got some sandwich meat from Aldi's. To be honest, I usually don't add meat to my omelets, but today I'm feeling, well, actually let me scratch that. To be honest, I usually do add meat to my omelets. Um, I usually add probably leftovers. Leftovers are probably the biggest ones because usually what I'll do is um, any food that I had left over for the night, like the night before, I'll just reheat it like on the stove and then just mix it with the omelet and put it, well, stuff it with, yeah, stuff the, what I have my leftover into the omelet and then that'll be my omelet for the day. But today I'm using deli meat because that's what my mood is. I want to use deli meat today. So we're going to use deli meat. Deli meat today is the buffalo style chicken breast. I have this black um, forest ham and then I have honey ham. And yes, I am going to use all three because that's what my mood is right now. Loving it. I basically cut it all into squares and yeah. But first I'm going to put the bell peppers and onion, um, green scallions on the stove first. Reason for it, I want my food to be cooked. So I'm going to kind of like burn these a little, but you're gonna see what I'm talking about. And then I'll add the meat. The meat is kind of like the last cause this is deli meat. So I mean, it's already eatable, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I I like to rinse my pot out with water and then put it on the stove and let the water evaporate. That's just how I work. But I'm going to be putting some olive oil on here. Usually, depends on how I feel. I usually use extra, uh, um, I, I can't even talk. Usually I'll use olive oil, but I'll also use butter. You guys, this looks so good, but the meat has to, for me, the meat has to cook a little bit. So, uh, yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning it, and yeah, you guys are gonna like this. And with seasonings, I try my hardest to stay away from high sodium seasoning, but in all honesty, that just don't work out, I'll be honest. Not saying that I take in a high sodium. The highest sodium I have ever bought was 300 and I told myself I'll never buy that again. It wasn't bad, it was just very strong. But a lot of my um, a lot of my seasonings have less than 100. And a few of them have like 200, but it's only a few. Most of them have less than um, 100 sodium. And yes, I like my food to be seasoned. I do not like certain things.
another silver pan. This is going to be for my eggs because you got to do it separately. So, let me go ahead. Uh, look at that. Y'all, this is how the middle looks inside of the omelet. This is my middle. This is what I like. Do you not see how good this looks? Can y'all back up? And yes, I do have multiple cats. That's Persia. I mean, no, that's Princess. That's Persia. That's Coco. I call her Coco Chanel because she's very prissy. That's Fat Boy and that's Luna. And then Harlem over there. But he's being bad. So we butter our pans. I only cracked two eggs for right now. I'm gonna crack more because I'm making more omelets, but two eggs is all you need. You don't need to do no more than two. And a little bit of simply seasons. Something small, nothing too major. Just do a taste. You want to cook it to the point where you could flip it with no problem. Literally. Let's see if this one want to flip with no problems. I'm going to put this down. I had to flip it off camera because it was not going to be perfect. But we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the stuff. And I'm going to show you guys how I like to make my omelet. All right, so sliced cheese. I like to put that in the middle. Then I go in with shredded cheese. Hold on. And then that's when I'll go ahead and add this mix. And I wouldn't add too much. I'll just add a good amount, as you can see. yeah and look at that and then all you have to do at the end is literally damn that don't look like that wanted to be folded it's folded literally ah. if it wanted to fold well you guys get the picture let me go ahead and try to fold it Okay, so now I'm going to, these are mini bagels, mini raisin bagel, raisin, cinnamon raisin bagels. I'm going to put one in the toaster and put some cream cheese on it because I'm feeling cream cheese. All right, you guys, I've been kind of making my infused water a little bit different lately. For some reason, I feel like crushing up my fruits really do help. So today, I am crushing up, and I'm gonna show you guys. You might do too. But I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so this is what's going in my water today. And I'm really gonna make it right here. So I'll show you guys.
All right, you guys, so this right here is my breakfast. These two, this is a mini bagel. This is an omelet with ham, ham honey, no, honey ham, black forest ham, and buffalo chicken with bell peppers and onions. And my drink is raspberry, raspberry blackberry with lime and filled with water. So this is what I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'm not gonna lie, it's so good. I wish y'all could taste it, but taste it through the camera. Anyways, <laughs> I'm about to go sit down for a second, but I have to do my hair and I have to do my lashes, but we are going to see because I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of late and I still have to cook dinner. Even though, yes, I don't know. We're probably not going to go to sleep until late anyways. And I'm probably not going to cook until late. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, it's a gloomy day. It's so gloomy. I hope you guys can hear the rain. I'm not going to lie. This is so refreshing. I don't care what nobody say. And if you never had a mojito before, this is like a mojito just with no alcohol in water. Gotta love it. Meat is seasoned. I cut up some scallions, bell peppers, some garlic, and some potatoes. And we're gonna put everything on the stove. So I have two pans going. This one is for the meat, and this one is gonna be for the veggies. And I'm gonna use both of them with butter this time, no olive oil. Okay, so this is the potato, bell peppers, onions, green onions, garlic, and butter. This is all of it cooked together with some seasoning, and oh my gosh, it tastes amazing! And then I added to the meat. So after both sides did get a brown to me, burnt brown, whatever you want, I just added some water, the bell peppers, and the onions, and I'm gonna let all of this boil. Reason I do this is because I like my meat to be super tender, and one thing I notice with super tender meat is if you either gonna undercook it or overcook it, and I choose to overcook, so yeah. Okay, so ooh, the rice is washed, cooked, I mean washed. I cleaned it. And now I put it on and now it's gonna boil and I put olive oil so it doesn't get stick together. This is how my food looks. And then I have to add some sauce. All 
right, you guys. So I am in my room. This is the drink. This is my sparkling water. This is the type of water I like to drink. Well, not water. Sparkling water I like to drink. This is the key lime. Key lime. One, they have orange, tangerine. Um, what else? Lime. They have all different kinds of flavors. I'm honestly in love with this brand. I love this brand so much. And I literally consistently go to the store and buy all of theirs except for a few but majority of the time all of them but i'm gonna head into the shower i'm gonna head in the shower and also see you guys in a minute 